Okay, hello, this is Martin from Cyber51. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a fake access point, so also referred to as evil twin access point, where the complete user traffic is then going through my access point and then onto the internet instead of going directly to the internet. Now, from a conceptual point of view, it's very easy to achieve. Um, you simply set up an access point which broadcasts out an SSID like free Wi-Fi or anything like that um, or fake a corporate SSID and then um, basically all the traffic is going through you and the user is unaware of that. Now this video is for demonstration purposes only. Um, we are not responsible for any wrongdoing. It's just about the technology and it's an educational video. So for the purpose of this video, I'm using a tool called EasyCreds, which is part of the Backtrack suite. And what I'm going to do here is I'm choosing Poisoning Attacks, number two, and then, um, sorry, previous menu, sorry about that. We want to do a fake AP attack, number three, option number three, and then we want to set up a fake static access point, number one. So uh, to note, um, we need an, an antenna for that, so I'm using the Alpha Network antenna in my case. First question I have to answer, where do I want to store all the information we harvest, we gather? So um, keep it simple, put it into the root directory. Would we like to include a side checking attack? No, not at this stage. Now we have to specify which of our interfaces is actually internet facing. So um, that's ETH0. And what's our wireless LAN interface? That's WLAN zero. And how do we want to call um, our SSID? Um, let's call it free Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi. Okay. And we want to broadcast on channel six, for example. Okay. Um, we have to answer a couple of more questions. So what is our monitor interface? That's MON zero. What's our tunnel interface? That's 80 zero. And what's the network range for the DHCP server to hand out to the clients? Let's keep that simple as well. 0 .0 .0 .0 0 0 0.0.0.0.0 slash 24. Um, the DNS server 8.8.8.8, .8 .8, which is Google. And then our fake access point is being set up. So basically it's now launching Airbase NG to launch this access point. It's setting up the forwarding, the, the, the tunnel, and then a variety of tools are running in the background. So that's, for example, SSL strip, where uh, when people go to an SSL encrypted website, it's um, presenting to the user a non-SSL encrypted website, so it's to capture credentials, basically. Um, DSNF is launched, EtherCap is launched, and uh, URL snuff is launched. All this information is being stored. And what we're going to do now is simply we, um, I have an iPhone here and with that iPhone, I'm going, let, let's assume like I'm, I'm a visitor in a coffee place or something and I see free Wi-Fi and say, hey, great, there's free Wi-Fi. And then in the minute I associate, see, then you already see that, um, that, that iPhone has associated now. It's now connected and then that person now goes to the, to a web browser, for example, and goes to Gmail. Like, let's enter here on the iPhone, gmail.com. And then you can see that um, down here in the uh, URL snuff that we went to gmail.com. And now let, let's do a, a fake login attempt, like test. And the password is test as well. And then initiate session. And then what we instantly see here when we go to EtherCap, for example, here we see uh, we captured a user test and a password test. So um, we have harvested the first credentials already. And uh, what I also would like to show you is, for example, if we now go to PayPal.com. And PayPal.com is HTTPS, as you probably know. So PayPal.com, and someone wants to check the PayPal balance or whatever of the iPhone or of the laptop or tablet or whatever it is. And then you will see that SSL strip now kicks in. So SSL strip here has now intercepted that request to PayPal.com. And what I see on the iPhone now is that I'm presented with HTTP instead. And if people don't pay close attention, um, they probably won't notice that they're, they're 
connection is now not encrypted any longer and the man in the middle or the fake access point can now sniff all the information and credentials what the user is, is putting in. Um, so, you know, you can leave this on for hours and hours or as long as the, as the victim basically is, is browsing. And if you want to review everything, you can easily go here to an LS and then you will see, for example, that we have an e-secrets directory. So let's quickly change into that. Have a look, ls minus ltr, and then you see like the SSL strip log, the dsniff, the URL snarf. So if we do more on the URL snarf, for example, you, you see like what the user was doing, where they were, were going, what services were requested, and so on and so forth. And you can use grab, grab commands as well to get this information. So um, purpose of this video is just to highlight how dangerous it is um, for users that they connect to a wrong access point, which is not what it's looking like. So for example, you know, um, if you think you are connecting to a T-Mobile hotspot or to, to any other hotspot, it's, you have to be, really make sure it is really that SSID you're connecting to because otherwise all your confidential information could be stolen. Um, just a very quick video. Uh, EasyCreds is a lot more powerful, has a lot more functionality, but for demo purposes, um, I only wanted to highlight like a couple of basic features. I hope you found this video useful and we look forward to seeing you in one of our next videos. Thank you very much.